practicing multiple uh, combat scenarios in the realistic environment. On a whole, it will be a display of Indian capability and capacity during this exercise, during flying, as well as during this uh, exposition. You know, curtain raiser for a uh, landmark event for the Indian military history, the exercise Tarang Shakti. This is the largest international air exercise ever conducted in India, uh, with invitations extended to 51 countries, and we have uh, confirmation from 10 countries for participation with their assets and 18 countries as observers and one more country is likely to join in. So including India, it is likely to become a 30 country exercise. Uh, this exercise aims to strengthen strategic relations with our uh, friends from international community. Uh, complex missions are planned to enhance our mutual understanding of air operations, air power application and also practicing multiple uh, combat scenarios in the realistic environment. We have decided to do it in two parts. The phase one of the exercise will be conducted ex Sulur, in Sulur area of operations in the down south uh, from uh, August 6th to 14th this year. And uh, this phase will see participation from four countries, that is Germany, France, Spain and UK with their assets. And uh, Phase two will be held at uh, Jodhpur from uh, September uh, 1st to 14th, and that will see participation from uh, Australia, Bangladesh, Greece, Singapore, UAE, and USA with their assets. So we will see uh, assets uh, like F-18, E-18, C-130 aircraft, F-16 aircraft, A-10s, KC-135, along with all the assets of Indian Air Force uh, taking part in this exercise. A Eurofighter Typhoon and Rafales from other countries also will be taking part. Indian Navy will be participating in the Phase 1 with uh, their uh, Mikron NK aircraft. In the flying part are assets like Tejas, Prachand, Dhruv and Rudra will be taking part uh, actively in the flying part, in, you know, showcasing our uh, own uh, uh, indigenous products. On a whole, it will be a display of Indian capability and capacity during this exercise, during flying, as well as during this uh, exposition. Uh, as the name suggests, you know, our endeavor will be to uh, demonstrate our energy and dynamism during this exercise. So, uh, we, in addition to having some military objectives of uh, exercising to strengthen uh, our, uh, to, to learn from each other, from each other's operating procedures and tactics and strategies. We also aim to strengthen our uh, cultural and diplomatic relations. Uh, we look forward to this exercise to foster deeper cooperation and understanding amongst the participation, uh, participating uh, forces. Uh, the phase one at Sulur, uh, there will be about 32 uh, foreign nation aircraft that will be participating of all types, which includes their fighter aircraft, transport aircraft, uh, their special uh, aircrafts, and also from India side will be about 40 aircrafts that will be participating of various types, which includes the LCA, the Su-30, the Mirages, the MiG-29s, uh, MiG-29s from the Navy, uh, so those are the numbers that we are looking at as of now. In phase two? In phase two, uh, we have uh, 27 fighters of various categories which have been covered by YC. Then we have two tankers, uh, A400 class uh, and uh, two, A uh, two AVAX aircraft. Apart from three special forces, C special uh, C130 aircraft which are participating from friendly foreign countries. Additionally, we have more than 40 fighters which are participating from uh, Indian Air Force and our own C-130 is also participating uh, in uh, Phase 2. Additionally, we also have helicopters, uh, LCH Prachand from our side, uh, ALH Mark IV, Rudra, as well as our own uh, Apache, uh, Apache participating from uh, our side. So we have more than close to almost uh, uh, 75-80 aircraft participating in uh, uh, 
phase two. Sir, this is Ajit Dube from ANI, sir. Uh, sir, uh, as you said that uh, most of the, lot of forces are coming uh, to Tarang Shakti from exercise pitch black in the US, uh, in Australia. Uh, so, and US is also participating there, sir, with their F-35s. Uh, so, any chances of the F-35 coming to uh, Tarang Shakti? Uh, no, we do not have F-35 planned as of now. Uh, U.S. is uh, taking part with F-16s and A-10s, and they are coming for the phase two. I think uh, after pitch black, U.S. is heading somewhere else, some other country for some other exercise. But uh, European countries who were flying through the you know, Indian subcontinent, they preferred this time rather than coming back again. So that is why we have uh, Germany, Spain, France, and U.K. taking part in phase one.